willkommen to Cook It Like a German. My name is Felicitas Teen and today we make Frankfurter Green Sauce with Schnitzel and Potatoes. I have a wonderful guest today, Eddie Maca Jr. from Ghana. Thank you for having me. <laughs> um, why do you want to learn how to cook it like a German? I think it's great to know how to cook different uh, meals, a variety of meals. I'm not the best cook out there, but you know, I want to add more to my repertoire, if okay. I can say. Okay, so let's cook it like a German. We will cook three different things today. The green sauce with a lot of herbs. Yeah. Then the schnitzel and potatoes. Okay, that's okay. a lot of herbs. Yeah, seven different herbs. And we need all of that. Yeah, we will come to this later. But okay. now we have to start with the eggs. We start. We have this is chives. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. This is parsley. Easy. Yeah. We have sorrel here. Okay. You know that? It's very sour. Okay. So try. Yeah. It's sour. And we need that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's like it's a concept, you know? Like okay. we need it all. <laughs> okay. This is salad burnet. Salad burnet, okay. Um, borage and this is travel so it's a um, very special dish of Frankfurt oh okay it's even pretty hard to get these herbs here in Berlin but I mean you could use anything green if, oh. if you don't have the sorrel just put more parsley in or coriander or whatever you have just make sure the sauce is very green in the end okay okay so you can choose any herb and then just roughly chop it So where are you from? I am from Ghana. Uh -huh. um, I was born in Kumasi. Uh, you probably have to look into all of these places after the show. Okay. Uh, born in Kumasi, uh, grew up a little bit in the capital, Accra. But then I spent more than half my years in um, the eastern region, the capital of the eastern region, which is Koforidua. What's your favorite Ghanaian dish? Is it jollof rice? For sure, it's it's on the top shelf. So for the people who don't know, what is jollof rice? Oh, jollof rice is basically, you know, you, you cook tomato stew with the meat or whatever you cook it with. And then you add rice to it with some water. So basically it, it, it's, I don't know, the rice immerses itself in some way. So it's, it becomes a complete meal like that, you know, and it's all risotto depends. from Ghana? Um, Maybe. Without cheese. Definitely without <laughs> cheese. Yeah, and also depends on the taste, depends on the kind of spices that you include and all that. And fantastic. And I think it just tastes like home, right? That's what Definitely. I felt when people yeah. told me about jollof rice. Yeah. It's very. Yeah. It's, it's uh, when I close my eyes and I miss Ghana, I think jollof, I think food mainly. Don't tell this to my parents, they'll assume I'll think about them more. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the food, yeah, I definitely miss it. But then there's also, I don't know if you, bankun, there's this like uh, food made out of dough, corn dough and mm -hmm. cassava dough, like sort of you put them together with water on fire and knead them until it becomes like, you know, pretty solid. Uh, and it goes with some spicy sauce, one that is called shito, some nice dark sauce made mm -hmm. from dried fish and shrimps. Oh. So that's that's really lovely with some fish on the side, tilapia, mm -hmm. most likely. So that's that's one of my favorite foods. I mean, it's, it's a couple of favorite foods. The food in Ghana is wunderbar. So for the sauce, we need something to blend. And then we have sour cream here, because obviously otherwise you cannot mix it. Yeah. What else? We have salt and pepper. You can do this. So you, when you say, pe is this like shaf shaf? No, it's not shaf shaf, it's, it's German shaf, it's only pepper. Genau. But especially for you, mm -hmm. I oh, have some chili flakes. I saw the this red. is not very Frankfurt, but <laughs> I love chili too, so that's why I put it in. Okay. Also, the color looks nice. <laughs> what else do we have? We need a little bit of mustard. Okay. A little bit of oil. Okay. And um, I have some vinegar here. It's oh. white wine vinegar. And also not very traditional, but I have to do it. A little okay. bit of lemon, lemon zest. I always use lemon zest in everything. For some extra flavor. Mm -hmm. And freshness, you know? Aha. Uh -huh. Let's blend it. Okay. It's very 
green. Okay, I hope so. <laughs> Done. We have to peel the eggs. Okay. So where about in Germany do you live? Um, so I actually live in Bonn. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I am here every month, like a week per month for work also. So uh, very different. Bonn versus Berlin is like <laughs> worlds apart, you know? True, true. <laughs> You've been to Bonn, right? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. part of my family lives there. To be oh, honest. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My aunt cool. there and, um, yeah. So what do you do as a job? Um, well, I'm a, I'm a journalist overall, mainly a broadcast journalist. So I do radio, TV, different programs, more with the news. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's basically it. This is DW News Africa. Bye for now. See you soon. But when I'm doing those things and I see what you're doing and eating and smiling and doing stuff, then I get a bit jealous of what you do, so. But hey, that's why I invited you to my show. Yeah, maybe I should do like three different episodes. I don't know, we'll have to talk about it. We will, we will. <laughs> Does it have to be sliced in any way? No, or? just rough or whatever, yeah. just cut it. Well, okay. Feel free. You look very nice. Yeah. But more, more. More, more chip, mm -hmm. okay. And we will save one for decoration. More. More? Mm -hmm. Are we going to mash it or? Some people even blend it, but I like the ah, that bits and pieces. It. Okay. Okay, now mm -hmm. I have the potatoes here. Okay. So, but what I need in my potatoes is salt, yes. of course. And I like to use a little bit of caraway seeds. What does it do? It gives a little bit of flavor, you know, Smell. Oh, it smells good. Yeah. And it's also very German, so that's why. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good enough reason. <laughs> Have you ever made schnitzel before? No. No. I buy it a lot, but never made it. Okay, mm. it's easy. Mm. We have pork here. Mm. Normally, when you do a Wiener schnitzel, the original version from Vienna, you would use veal. But as we're making Frankfurter schnitzel, you can use pork as well. Okay. Okay. What we have to do is we have to flatten the meat and there's a soft way you put a little bit of cling film on top. Oh no, it's not a soft way. <laughs> you get a oh. pan and it's just... Oh. Yeah. This part I like. Smashing stuff. <laughs> okay. Do you have to use a frying pan to smash? Mm. I feel like I destroyed it a bit. Um, I think so too. I think so, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, but I mean, there's a thing like a meat pounder, but I don't have one. Aha. Uh -huh. But maybe I'm more gentle with my I pan. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so in Germany, you call it Panierstraße. Okay. So like breading street, if you say so. Uh, but we don't have eggs. Wait, 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 we need eggs. I love to put in a little bit of salt mm -hmm. and some lemon zest. Surprise! <laughs> and the last thing you need is breadcrumbs. Okay. I use panko, which is Japanese breadcrumbs. They are bigger, okay. so the schnitzel gets even more crispy. Okay. We are pretty far away from Vienna now. <laughs> <laughs> like some sort of therapy. Yeah. Schnitzel therapy. <laughs> For crazy people like us. <laughs> so this is fine, I think. Mm -hmm. Whoop! A mm -hmm. little bit of cleaning and then we yeah. will fry in our new pan. <laughs> I see what you did there. I'm sorry for the puns, but hey. <laughs> Next time we need a mallet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, do you think the pen is too small? I think I made it smaller. <laughs> Let's hope it fits. I have another one. I have a very big one. Yeah. Cool. How are we talking? Stay away. Yeah, well. <laughs> okay, 
To fry the schnitzel, we use clarified butter. Clarified butter. Because it has the butter taste, but you can heat it up very high. That's why. Okay. You could also use cooking oil and then in the end put in a little bit of butter. Okay. But this is easier. So the butter is very important in this. Yeah. Okay. Butter is always very important. Yeah. Okay. I say so. Do people in Ghana eat butter? Um, yeah. Depends. But I think we'll probably just use oil, like just normal oil for this, yeah. So what's your favorite German dish? Um, you know there's this, I always forget the name. It's, it's round white. Uh, it normally comes with um, schnitzel, with some brown sauce and sometimes this purple cabbage thing. It's, this is round, oh, round dumplings. Sauce. Dumplings, yeah. Is that what it's called? It's, it's dumplings, potato dumplings, yeah. Does it have like a local, local name? Knödel? Ah, that's what I wanted to remember. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But I, I kind of like that. And if you want to learn more about German food, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Schnitzel done. Potatoes done. Sauce done. A lot of sauce. I think we cooked it like a German. I think we did. <laughs> Yummy, yummy. Perfect summer dish. <laughs> now you can take a little bit of lemon and mm -hmm. squeeze the juice of the schnitzel. Extra flavor. First things first. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So do you think you will try this at home? Well, now that I've learned it, how to cook like a German, <laughs> I'm sure that's going to happen at home. Eddie, you were a wonderful guest. I really, I can go to Ghana someday. Uh, hopefully sooner than later, yeah? And I'll show you around. So thank you very much for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Thank you very much for having me. I really hope that you enjoyed our video too. If so, don't forget to comment below, leave a thumbs up and see you next time.